<laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 and welcome to the Senior Kindergarten Graduation 2010. It's wonderful to see all the parents out today, grandparents and family being here and being part of their special day for these boys and girls. And it's been a big day for the, these guys and they've been building up for it for the last couple of months. We've been talking about recess, grade one, school all day, good behavior, and the dreaded homework. And when we were talking about it again this morning, Jaden asked me, are we going on Monday? I said, no, not yet, but it's coming. So I think they're a little bit confused, but they are certainly looking forward to it, even though it's a couple of months away. So it feels just like yesterday when I opened these doors, uh, I think it was September 9th, and I began welcoming all the boys and girls full of smiles, glad to be back at school, some new faces, some old, some from before, and some were joining our class for the very first time. However, I didn't start with just 20. I had 34 of them for about a month and a half. So it was a little bit haywire in here. But they had lots to say, lots to share, and when we finally settled down after Thanksgiving, um, things got back to normal. Now, sorry, now they were they're all back renewing their friendships and starting new ones. Now, ten months later, they stand before us, bigger, taller, wiser, still very cute, and even busier than before, little men and little women ready to take their next big step. And now I have to say I am very sad to see each and every one go. They've come so far. It's been a very exciting two years in the room 20. We've had worked very hard on many units, the body, farm, Halloween, those never stay extinct dinosaurs as you see all over the hall, Christmas, measurement, shapes, library partnerships, apples, and so much more. And they've made many great strides in all areas, and each of them have achieved many personal successes and accomplishments throughout the last few years. Each of them has something to be proud of, and each of them must build on these accomplishments as they move into grade one. Hang tough, Connor. Come on, my man. He doesn't want to go, I don't think. Boys and girls, you will face many new challenges starting in grade one. Challenges with your friends, and we see that every day in our classrooms, with school and with classmates. Some of those challenges will be more difficult than others. And you might make the odd mistake, but that's okay because we learn from these mistakes. Is it okay, Ruby, to make a mistake? Yes. Why? Because we can erase it and fix it. And what else do we do when we make a mistake, Jaden? We learn. We learn. See, they're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to always keep going and never give up. Try your best in everything you do. That's sports, school, arts, home. That's all you can do. We practice these every time. Remember your manners are very important. Please and thank you. Be kind to your friends. They are very special and you will have them for life. And remember to solve your conflicts or disagreements in a peaceful manner. But most importantly, boys and girls, listen to your mom and dad, your grandma and your grandpa. Don't argue with them. They will be your best teachers in life. They think you're very special and they love you very much. I'm going to miss their very curious minds, their gentle ways, their smiling faces, Mr. Pet, each and every day, even when he doesn't get it, he's still smiling. <laughs> and I have to mention this one, how they exude energy, endless energy, this class in particular. They have kept me going for the last six months, and I believe the parent volunteers are basically in on. They've been running. Their innocent ways and their excitement in their eyes, which they brought to school each and every day with stories and special thoughts to share. They were definitely a joy to see. I wish you all the best in grade one. I will miss each and every one of you. Your nicknames will stick free with you till grade eight or till I don't see you. I look forward to seeing you the first day of September walking on that pavement up to your grade one class. And please remember, as I always say, I call this Budapest. If you join the team, you make a club, things get tough, you're stuck on a math question, or you've learned to read that book, Lauren, that you can't wait to read, come down and share it with me. I'd love to hear you, and I, most of all, I'd like to see you. All right, to finish off, I sort of like to read a little poem, which sums up your time here in kindergarten, about a gardener and a garden, or my teacher, teacher and her students. 
In 2008, at the beginning of September, you came to my class. How well I remember. Some of you were smiling and giggling a lot. Some were very quiet. You tears I could spot. You came here to learn, to be taught how to read. You were very much then a tiny little seed. You were all in my garden, just waiting to grow. So this gardener got busy with a rake and a hoe. I fed you the water and let in the sun. You took in the soil, but we had only just begun. Each day as I worked in this garden of mine, I saw you so all growing, so strong and so fine. And finally one day, I took a good look, and I saw each of my flowers reading a book. It was obvious you had blossomed, you still need to grow, so I'll pass you on now to another gardener I know. She too has a rake and a home she can use, and plenty of food from which you can choose. I hope you will keep your roots open wide, take in all the food, and keep it inside. Yes, a gardener can work all night and all day, but the flower must be willing to take in each ray. So work very hard in your garden and cheer, do the best you can do, and you'll have nothing to fear. Grow strong and grow tall, reach up for the sun, stay as nice as you are, and have lots of fun.